This video is brought to you by Drum Tracks. We help drummers like you gain the skills you need to find your own voice and explore your own creativity. Click the link in the description or the caption of wherever you're watching this video to get started. Good people, I'm looking for the beginners. Come on now, y'all know what it is. I don't care if you're an advanced drummer. Good people, I'm gonna teach you how to fix your cracked cymbals. And I know what you're thinking. Yo, you can actually fix the metal, mend it together? No, absolutely not. In fact, we're going to repurpose them. That's how we're gonna fix our cracked cymbals. If you've ever had any type of cracked cymbal, like I have, because I have played drums alongside or shared the drum set alongside Damani Rhodes, who breaks whoa, every- Whoa, 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 listen, we're not gonna talk about the fact that when I met you, all your cymbals were cracked. What the f are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. You, you severed my kick pedal. That's not twice. You gotta stop. You, gotta you even stop. posted it on the app. It's not the true. app's IG. What? You posted it in the story. Prove it. <laughs> Prove it. Give me the password. I'll go through your story archive. Bro, you know you don't get passwords around here. Yeah, f you too. Who it doesn't get passwords. So anyway, <laughs> so he has broken a lot of symbols, obviously. No. And instead you're of me, the truth. <laughs> listen. Instead of me throwing the symbols away, I repurpose them into what we like to call stacks. Now you can go to the music store and buy those already pre-made stacks and spend $16,000 if you want to, or you could do what we did in the black church. We took them crack symbols and we stacked them on top of each other. And that made an incredible stack sound that you can use while you're playing the drums. Now when you stack symbols, you want to make sure that the symbols are not the same size because then it's not going to sound good. You want to have one size that's big, one size that's smaller than the big one. Now how you stack it, that's up to you. Typically what I would do if I had let's say a crash symbol and a splash symbol that are both cracked I'll put the splash on top of the crash because the crash is usually a 16 an 18 a 19 or a 20 and then splashes are no bigger than 12 so then you stack the 12 the 10 the 6 or the 8 on top of that 16 18, 19, 20 situation. But for today's video, I'm gonna stack my two symbols, which is a crash. This is a 17 inch Zildjian crash that is, it's got the hairline crack. You probably can't see it uh, from that far away, but the hairline crack is like a smile right in the middle of the symbol. Not on the edge, I have a hairline crack. And I'm going to stack it with the symbol that Damani broke. So I cracked this one. Obviously, it still looks like it's intact. The one that Damani chewed off, First of I'm all, going to oh, 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 oh. Bro, you over here lying to the world right now. Doing good and well. Tell the truth, bro. <laughs> okay, so all jokes aside, I got this off Craigslist for like $10 because the dude was like, Yo, I, no one's going to take it. Would you take it for 10 bucks? I said, you bet you bet you by golly, wow, it's $10. And I stacked... I stacked it with this, so that's what made it make sense. Instead of me going to buy a $6,000 stack symbol, no, I'm actually gonna buy a $10 symbol, take what I already have from another Craigslist deal that I got for only 25 bucks, and now I have a $30 stack that sounds like a $16,000 stack situation. Now, because this is Zildjian, the bell of the china is not so high up like some other chinas, so I'm able to stack it where this small symbol is on the bottom. I'm stacking it like so. That's what it looks like. Because if I was to do it like this, it just tears up your stick because the edge of the symbol is pointing up like, nah. I want to hit the actual symbol and still get the whole effect of the stack sound. So this is the way that I am stacking my symbol and it's going to go right here in the middle. Like I said, China first than this symbol here. Now, if you have a china that has the high-end type of bell, the raised bell, if you will, you can't stack it the way that I'm stacking it. So, what you wanna do is take that china, let's pretend this has the raised bell on this side, we're gonna turn it upside down, and you're gonna see if you could take a small splash symbol, turn it upside down, and put it on top to create your stack. Not all symbols work that way, so you gotta kinda try it out yourself and figure out what fits so that you can actually put it on the symbol stand and play it. And as a side note, there's no right or wrong way, it's just what sounds good and what sounds good to you. Lastly, how you tighten it down. The tighter you tighten it down on the cymbal stand, the more closed it's gonna sound. Just like a hi-hat cymbal, if you step down all the way on the pedal, it's gonna be a tight, 
closed sound, but when you partially lift up your toes, you have that open sound that sounds a little bit different from a closed sound. Now stacks, in my opinion, don't sound too good when it's really closed. I like mine just a little bit loose, so that's how I'm going to tighten it down to my cymbal stand. A little bit loose. We ain't going to go too, too crazy. Now, for those of you who don't want to work that hard to figure out, hey, how tight should I have it? You want the easy route? Get you a spring that goes on your cymbal stand, something like this. This is where the spring is. When you tighten this top down, like all the way, it is the perfect sound that I'm looking for where it ain't too tight and it's not too loose. So get you one of these. This is my... Uh, cheat code, if you will. I cheat with this one. All right, good people. Here's an example of how my stack sounds. Check it out. All right, that's it, good people. That's the whole lesson. Stack your cymbals. Now, I'm going to play this stacked cymbal to a track, to a musical track on the Drum Tracks app called Before My Time. Not before, <laughs> but Before My Time. It is in the Damani Rhodes Signature Series Volume 1 section. Hey, hey, you did it right the first time this time. Last time you tried to call it the Sticks Signature Series, but we learned and we were reminded that you don't know how to even sign your own signature. And this time you got, you got it right. I got to give it to you, bro. I got to give it to you. I'll tell you what. Continue on. He can Continue be. Continue on. <laughs> you could can be. Continue on. All right, good people. I'm going to play to this track and I'm going to get up out of here. But remember, you can download the app for free and access this track. As long as you have a mobile data plan or a Wi-Fi connection, this track is free to stream. Links are in the description box. All right, good people. I got to get up out of here. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Good people, thank you for checking out our YouTube videos. I mean, if you, if you enjoy them, you should probably download our app. It's free to download, it's free to create an account, and it's free to stream tracks. It ain't free for video lessons, but <laughs> everything else is free. So you need to download the app today. Links are in the description below. And lastly, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so that you're notified when we upload any new content. You know what time it is. And you know what? You can also check out some of our other videos. I mean, if you haven't seen them already, there's one right here and there's one right here. Click on the videos. You know you want to see them. All right, good people. I ain't going to talk your ear off. I'm not the talker. That's the money. That's why he behind the camera. He talked too much. I'll catch you guys on the other videos. Peace.